Okay, we have a situation here out on the deck. Go over here to these benches. You see, I'm about to make some, so we have some wasp nests under this bench here on the back porch. I think I'm about to make some wasps, wasps really mad. My current investigation has led me to believe that there are four nests and there might be more. There's one right there, one right there, and then there's one over there. Okay, so you saw a few of them. Let me uh, let me show you how you, you get rid of them. A lot of people would say to get the, the like hornet wasp spray, like uh, this stuff, and they say like wait till the evening until they're all back at the nest so you can spray them and kill them. That might be a good idea. My other thought was I'll just stick my hand up there and I'll just pull the nest down. So let's try that first. that already looked on that one and saw that there weren't any wasps on it currently so I don't think I'd be able to do that with the other nest. Be sure I would get stung. All right let's blast them. One down. Okay, yeah, that's working pretty good. There's one more nest and it's right in there. Woo, got them. I sprayed all three nests and it foams up and it kills them. So I just knocked the nest down. That's a pretty good size. Got them, did it, finished. Woo. There are some bees down here on the ground that are kind of crawling through this area it would suck to step on one of them if you're barefoot and get stung but those bees I'm pretty sure are good bees that we don't want to kill it's the wasps that uh, you can kill so the can says to wait until the evening so that the uh, wasps or hornets are less active so that more of them are around so I could have done that but I kept forgetting to to do it in the evening so Today I was just like, you know what? We're just gonna do it, we're gonna get it done. I knocked the nest down. Hopefully the ones that did survive will go to another location. I also wanted to take a second to talk about quality and quantity when it comes to a YouTube channel and videos. And recently I've just been focusing on quantity instead of quality. I'm trying to get videos out every day and when that happens then your quality goes down if i spent like a week or a month on a video i think it would be really good and i would take a lot longer uh, with different shots and setting the story up and everything but that's not really what i'm doing with this channel i'm just trying to give you guys a glimpse into our life and a day-to-day -day look and so i try my best to to make the quality of the videos good but when you're pumping out content uh, really quickly along with uh, you know working another job and uh, spending time with our friends and family there's a lot of other things that are competing with my time you enjoy every once in a while when I come out with those videos that are just like a lot better they're a lot more edited and there's more cinematic shots I love making those videos but they take me a lot longer to edit and so usually when I'm ahead with my videos I'll try to do something like that or definitely if we're in a situation or with another YouTuber I definitely try to make those videos better quality uh, but today we're just killing some wasps and hanging out on the back porch so hopefully you've enjoyed getting a glimpse into our life um, as we're traveling and just trying to figure out what's gonna be next for us where we're gonna settle down um, we are six months into traveling and it's been awesome and so we have uh, yes was it yesterday we sat down and scheduled out like the next month so we're headed to Tennessee and we scheduled out some people we're gonna meet up with in between yeah we're not sure if we're gonna be able to see everybody that has reached out to us um, but definitely if you are in like Kansas or Tennessee or anywhere in that area uh, shoot us a message because um, we definitely want to know who's out there and and what our options are as far as uh, being able to see different people but 
um, when we have our friends that have been like lifelong friends or friends that we've known for several years, um, we're probably going to prioritize our route towards those people. And then depends on how far off of that route you are. Um, we'll, we'll try to make it work out. Um, so we have the next month or so planned now. Um, after that, we don't have any plans, but, uh, for now we'll, we'll still be in Denver till the end of August. And it's been super fun. It's been super fun hanging out and seeing a ton of our friends. Uh, next week is like jam packed full of almost every day seeing different people that we haven't seen. So went to one friend who now owns a Chick-fil-A restaurant and that was super cool to hang out with him. Um, we had no idea he had, he had, uh, started that. So, uh, it's just cool to like get caught up on where people are at and, and what they've been up to. Um, so if you aren't doing so yet, push that subscribe button all the way in and click the bell and you can follow our journey and kind of stay up to date with what we're doing and get to know us a little bit better and watch our channel grow. It's been growing a ton. So it's been super cool to have new people on here, new people watching. Uh, if you are a subscriber, consider sharing one of our favorite videos on your Facebook or something like that on Twitter, uh, just to help our channel grow. That helps us a ton. And to those who have been doing that, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you later. Hats off to you. Hey, comment down below what your current wasp situation is. Have you guys had a wasp problem this summer? Have you run into any of them? Has anybody gotten stung?